Mr. Speaker, I'd also like to, uh, to welcome today uh, a number of notable curlers from the Fredericton area that have joined us. Uh, you may remember that uh, this year, Fredericton hosted the 2013 World Seniors and Mixed Doubles Championships. Now, this, was, this is the world's biggest cur curling tournament, and uh, teams from across the world, up to 30 different countries, traveled here to Fredericton to participate in this championship. And in fact, the event brought close to $2 million here to our local economy. So it's not just a sporting event, but it's also an event that's driven the economy. The event was a tremendous success, thanks not only to the elite caliber of the athletes, but also for the organizers that were behind the event. And we have a few of them here with us today, Mr. Speaker. I'd like uh, Mr. Stephen Kelly to stand. Once again, Mr. Stephen Kelly is no, no stranger to many members of the legislature, having served uh, our city council here in Fredericton for a long time. And he's since turned his passion to curling. And he, he uh, was one of the, he was the co-chair for the, the championship event. Now, since becoming president of the Capital Winter Club, he, he, he and his club have produced provincial and national championship curlers of all ages. And it's a tribute to his hard work, dedication, and leadership. Recently, Steve has spearheaded a campaign to establish curling, uh, a curling team at the University of New Brunswick, and I understand that's going quite well. So welcome to Stephen. We're also joined by his other event co-chair, which is Dennis Vandehovel. If Dennis would please stand. Dennis is the president of the Fredericton Curling Club and was co-chair of the championship events that were held uh, this spring. The Fredericton Curling Club has, many, has seen some changes in its venue, but no less has maintained its passion for the sport of curling and has produced a number of champions. And Dennis played a key role in, in organizing the recent event. We're also joined by Mr. Wayne Tallon. I'd ask Wayne to stand. Wayne is a Fredertonian, uh, formerly an employee of the city of Fredericton, and is one of New Brunswick's finest curlers. Uh, Wayne is a three-time silver medalist at the national championships, and this year he was part of the Capital Winter Club rink that won the Canadian senior national title. He, is, he and his team are soon off to Dumfries, Scotland, next year in fact, to represent Canada at the World Senior Curling Championships, which is an incredible accomplishment, especially when you consider he was the or organizing chair for the championship. I know these men are getting stand, tired of standing, but I also want to recognize their committee that worked with them to accomplish this great championship. Of note are Susan Fortune, the secretary, Nick Norad, the treasurer, Charles Kingston, legal counsel, and also a member of the national team headed to Scotland. And then as well, we have the steering committee, Jody DeSola, Jamie Brennan, Lee Watson, Ann Grant, Connie Nickel, Shelley Graham, Doug Delly, sorry, Doug Daly, Rob Wright, Karen Langell, John Richard, Cynthia Wilson, Chris Jenkins, Dana Newman, Brian Cassidy, Gary Wilson, and Susan Tallon. Also with us today are the members of the Capital Winter Club that captured the Senior Men's National Curling Championship. And this team represented New Brunswick at the Senior Nationals in March. The, this is the team that's off to Dumfries, and I'll read their names as well. You already know Skip Wayne Tallon. They're joined as well by third, Mike Kennedy, second, Mike Flannery, lead, Wayne Blanchard, and fifth, Charles Kingston. Mr. Speaker, I'd ask you to join with me in welcoming these distinguished curlers to this house for all the hard work they do to promote their sport, to represent New Brunswick abroad, and to bring powerful eco economic uh, benefits here to our city. Thanks very much.